Good afternoon, good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris again, the Watch Lounge, coming up with another review. Today's review is the Movado Museum. This is the Blue Dial version that Roman was kind enough to send in to me, Roman Sharp. Again, you can go check out his website over at LuxuryBazaar.com. And if you haven't already subscribed to his YouTube channel, please do, because he was kind enough to send in about seven pieces that you guys saw in that haul. I'm going to get the reviews in so I can get them back to him. Quick wristwatch check. I am indeed certainly wearing that Zen 556. Just got off work, so swapped out from the Hamilton to this. Enjoying this as long as I can. But, um, on to the Mavado. This is a watch that is kind of polarizing, at least within the watch community. I, I think it's a little polarizing just because of what it is in the marketing. It's one of those brands that's kind of like Hublot and Tag that gets a lot of hate. And I don't know if there's a reasoning behind it. I, I can kind of see why it does because they do market their pieces a little kind of on the exclusive side and a little pricey if you ask me because as watch geeks we kind of look at it as if you're looking for a nice dress watch you can get an automatic in-house in -house, excuse me um bambino from orient for like a hundred and what 180 dollars these days guys and uh this watch here on his website is um, $464. They retail for about $800. And for around that $800, you can get, if you're looking for a nice dress watch, which this, what this is, is an, it's a pretty nice dress watch. But if, if you're looking for a nice dress watch, this is a, uh, you can get like a Hamilton in, in traumatic, uh, automatic with the Etta movement in it. And, and, uh, Movado is known for their course movements. And again, I'm not completely knocking the watch because it's not a bad looking watch. Overall, the aesthetics are kind of clean. Which I do kind of like on a watch, as you know, I, I do prefer kind of a sterile kind of watch. The only thing, uh, the only knock I have on the dial is sometimes it would be kind of hard to read the time. And again, this this is a dress watch, probably something you wear, like if you have an office job or something like that, you know, you got to dress up. Or you just want to wear it to a wedding or you want to wear it out to a nice dinner or something like that. And I think another problem a lot of the, us watch geeks have with it is that... This is one of those brands that I, the, the main public knows it, but us watch idiots and aunts, we kind of look down on it for some reason. And again, like I said, you know I'm not one to down a watch unless I've seen it. Just like with Hublot, and I mentioned in the Hublot video that I did like the Big Bang that I, I was sent in that I had the Big Bang ceramic. And I did own a Tag Hewer. Those are among the three most hated brands within the watch community, guys. But the Big Bang Ceramic is a really nice watch. If you get to take a look at it, is it overpriced? Yes, it is. But there, there's, there's, as a, um, as Roman said in the video, there's, there's an ask for a receipt. <laughs> Excuse my language. But like I said, that's part of the marketing that goes into Movado, and I, and I feel like that's why it gets a bad rap among us watch idiots months. But other than that, like I said, I really do like the clean sterile design. It's a really nice watch overall. It is about forty millimeters with 22 millimeter lugs so where it's really nice where it's a little bit bigger than that 40 millimeter it's only 30 meter water resistant guys so definitely wouldn't take it swimming or anything like that it's not really meant for that it doesn't really have lume it does have a nice crown here at the three o'clock not an overly thick watch either it wears fairly well i will show you what it looks like on my seven half inch wrist Again, it still does have the tags and everything on it. But I do have to return it back to him. If you guys are interested in this watch, he does again have it on his website, and I will leave a link down there below. Overall, not a really bad looking watch, guys. It does have that in house quartz movement, which they are known for. As you see, Swiss made, and I guess that's where a lot of the price and height comes in because with it being Swiss made over, say, Japanese or German made, that's where they get you on the price, the materials, and everything. And again, I think one main reasons a lot of watch it eats about it's like to hate on it is like with Tag Humor and Hublot, it, it's the marketing. And, I, and sometimes I do feel like it is overpriced. But if you buy it right, like at that 400 and something dollars, it's not too bad of a buy, I guess. But again, like I said, with it, with that price range, you can get a Tissot also. You, you can get a, a couple of different ones. Just giving out my honest opinion, guys. Again, I do appreciate Roman for sending this in. I just wanted to get a first-hand look at Mbato before I uh, put my point of view on one. Because, you know, I don't like to knock a watch 
Overall, I would rate this a 7, 6 out of 10. Like I said, not a bad looking watch. And it's a nice dress watch. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you own a Movado? Do you think they deserve the hate they get among the watch community? And if you guys haven't already, please like, subscribe. Comment down below and hit that notification bell as I do make videos regularly. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.